Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Hope you're having a good morning so far. I'm having a very good day. Just woke up from uh, my extensive napping time, where I think I dozed off a little bit. It is absolutely gorgeous out, guys. 93 degrees. There's even a breeze. We're coming up on some flags and stuff up here. Maybe we can uh, see them moving a little bit. See those little banners on the right there? They're actually moving. Makes a world of difference when we get that uh, little gust of wind happening. I wanted to thank my friend Shadow Bailey. I watch uh, Shadow Bailey's channel. The link is in the description of uh, all my videos. And uh, she's a United Kingdom. She's got a little uh, little wiener dog. Shadow Bailey's got a little wiener. She doesn't like to tell people. <laughs> she's uh, she has a, a dachshund, and his speciality is destroying anything put in front of him. So. Uh, she makes really interesting videos, and uh, she'll do some fabulous, fabulously edited shorts. Like probably <laughs> out of all my little group of people, she uh, she does the best ones. So it, it, it's pretty neat. And she uh, sent me a super chat. So thank you, friend. That was very nice of you. She also has a birthday coming up. Uh, I believe it's September first. But since I know I won't remember that, I'm just wishing her a happy birthday here and every day until it actually happens. We're down on Fulton Beach Road, part of Rockport. I was thinking about taking the bridge and going over to uh, Key Allegro, which is a man-made island on what used to be a mud flat at one time. Kind of uh, encompasses Little Bay separates it from uh, Aransas Bay. It's been sunny most of the day. It's a little bit, I don't want to say overcast. We did get a sun shower this morning, so that was pretty neat. I always like when the sun is shining and it's, and it's raining. I was up to Rockport Beach earlier getting some things done and then once it got hot, I headed to my little spot in the shade. Look at the color of that water, that's not bad at all. I wonder what they're working on there. I they just have that stuff stored there for now while they're working on a... They're putting in a bulkhead there. Huh. Well, that's good. And one of those... Uh, to call it stainless steel, but I don't know exactly what kind of steel it is. Probably just steel, huh? Bulkheads. A lot of very nice houses over here on the island. And I thought we would go up uh, some of the roads. We haven't gone up and down lately. I think we've done the four at the end. And it's in general. The houses get more expensive as, as you go out to the end, but uh, we, we've seen them a few times and haven't done the little little side streets. Very nice houses. Look at this monster up here straight ahead. Wow, it's a, it's a little castle. I think no one builds a castle anymore. What's the newest castle? What's the newest castle in America? What's the what's the newest what's the newest castle in the world? Here's a question for you. Do we have to go to uh, Ireland or Scotland to find that out? Let's go. Let's go. We got friends there, right? We got Julie in Ireland and uh, Foxy in Ireland. We've got uh, Walking with Tamsin in Scotland. I need to check his channel because I haven't seen a new 
video from them in a while, and I should have all my notifications on, but we'll have to check some really awesome landscaping just on these streets. It's a huge house on the left there, big three-story job. And we've talked about this before, but most of the houses out here, not all, but most, are uh, second houses, third houses. They sit empty most of the time and then get filled up on nice weekends and holidays and things like that. So it's uh, pretty quiet out here on a Sunday, not a whole lot of uh, people working. If you come out here on the weekend, you'll see the, you know, the landscapers, carpenters, plumbers, electricians, everyone else will be working during the week. And even on Saturdays, but on Sundays, everyone tries to just lay low a little bit. Did I whip you guys around too much there? The houses on both sides of us have uh, canals for backyards. So they usually have a, a dock and a boat back there. And uh, some of them will put a pool between the house and the, um, and the, and the waterway, the canal. Been on some real, I've, I've been in some really nice houses out here over the years. But if any of these look familiar, it's, it's been a while since I've come over here uh, and done these streets. We're turning off Sandpiper and we're pulling on to Pelican. Most of the streets on the island here are named after birds. Spoonbill and Kingfisher and other such critters. There's a... Uh, what is Eugene? Drawing a blank. There's Heron. I don't know, I, I, I don't know if it's Blue Heron. Is the name of the street or just Heron? I think it might be Blue Heron over here. Eugene is a great Blue Heron. And there are completely different birds called Blue Herons. But Eugene is a great Blue Heron. They got Walmart trash bags. Nice to know the rich people shop at Walmart too. <laughs> In a in a town this uh, size, we all shop at the same place. We have uh, one grocery store and uh, one Walmart. They did add a Target about 20 miles away in uh, Portland, Texas. That just opened up. So um, I talked to Renee and she was not able to uh, go out and visit our friend at the Glossbrenner unit in San Diego. Uh, she couldn't get a ride and I don't believe had money for gas, but um, I gave her as much warning as I could. And that's unfortunate because I believe that means uh, our friend out in the Glossbrenner now has to go to a uh, halfway house. I'm not sure. I wasn't involved in the papers and whatnot. I was just, uh, I said I would drive when I was able. And I did. I drove her out there twice and I paid for all the gas and all the food and I did what I could do. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, my, uh, I wouldn't feel right taking my truck all the way out there knowing there was something wrong with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. My truck's going to go in this shop uh, Thursday. I'm thinking about doing it Wednesday because Wednesday's the day we always get paid. But uh, I'm just worried about 
what if it's a day late, you know? So I'm gonna wait till Thursday, which means I'll have uh, three more days after today of hoping everything holds together. I think tomorrow we might just set up at the beach and film whatever comes by like we used to. That's how I used to get all that good bird footage. I would sit at the beach and read and let everything come to me. And it, uh, it always worked out pretty good. Some of these houses are still bur uh, boarded up from uh, the, the hurricane mornings when uh, Beryl was supposed to hit us. And that was over a month ago, so that means they haven't been down in a month. I assume that's what it means. I like to form my own little stories, you know? <laughs> it's an interesting paint job on that truck, isn't it? Kind of like a form of camouflage. I don't think I've seen that on a truck like that. I don't know where you would, uh, where that would be camouflaged at, you know? signals. Turn signals are important. Let's go through here. We probably have been guilty about going to the left there a few times. And that brings us back here to the Ramses Bay. Here's another divided highway. That the uh, seagrass is really pretty. What do you call that grass, guys? I'm drawing a blank. I said, I said seagrass, but I'm just trying to think it. Not a whole lot going on this weekend in Rockport. They had the uh, the farmers market. I believe that was about it. And uh, it looked like they were having pretty good crowds there. Keeping an eye out for my buddy Wayne. I have a book for him to sign. Haven't spotted Wayne. I know he was away for a while. Did you ever notice when people troll on the internet? Uh, trolls can never spell. <laughs> I was reading someone. Someone made a nice post on. Uh, should we go around you, sir? Let's go around you. We're gonna go around you. I think that's what you want me to do. Wave high. I don't know if you if you wave high or not. Now we're gonna tap our brakes a little bit. That's how we say thank you. And uh, the guy had uh, misspellings, poor poor grammar and punctuation, and and a uh, a comma instead of a semicolon. So it was uh, it was a mess. I usually find that people that know how to uh, spell, they don't have time to troll. So if you're trolling on the internet, just double check because it kind of makes you look really dumb when you're when you're trolling and you can't complete a, a sentence. Go to go find a uh, eight or nine year old that's related to you that isn't embarrassed by you and. Uh, have them double check your work. <laughs> I'm going to watch. It already have aired by the time you guys see this, but uh, Ari's World is doing a live in about an hour. So I wanted to get this done so I could be around for their live stream and uh, help support Ari's World. That's a good channel. Link in description. And at the current moment, I'm running a playlist from my buddy Jason at Jason's TX Adventures. So check those channels out, guys. Link in the description. I'm about ready for some food. It is 4.37, and I had a drink from Sonic, and I got a $2 cheeseburger and threw away the roll and had me a nice uh, 
double burger, $2 with cheese, mustard, ketchup, lettuce, and diced onions. So that was a big day. For those of you scoring at home, wondering what I ate, there you go. Take you down to see the water here. Yeah, the water's a really pretty color. Got your lights on, you're all set. I got some repairs done here. Hey guys, I appreciate you stopping by this morning. I'm kind of limited to Rockport until I get my uh, truck back to 100%. And hopefully that will happen Thursday. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.